very much indeed. Um, within a generation, the population of the European Union will be about 6% of the world's population. We're not far beyond that now, which is why we simply cannot continue to rotate the presidency of the European Council every six months and have up to five different people speaking on foreign affairs uh, related issues for, for, this, for the Union. But also within that generation, the population of the world will have increased by about 2 billion people. 90% of that increase will be in what is now the developing world, where up to 11 million children die each year about 5 million of them for want of medicines that have been available in what we call the West for over 30 years. In that context, it's not only important that we're organised well to run Europe internally, it's also important that we are e equipped to deal with situations like this in the developing world, which is I, why I want to make a case for a strong, independent, separate Commissioner for Development Aid who will have his or her own clear budget and remit and will be accountable to this chamber through our development uh, committee. It is absolutely important the High Representative or the Minister for External Affairs, whatever title you want to give that person, will have a lot on his or her plate. M much, much to do. But here is one single issue which commands and must command our particular attention. And I want to advocate strongly that not only do we give, uh, do continue to ensure that we have an Office of Commissioner for Development, but that that portfolio is given to somebody who is equal to the task and determined to ensure that these, our neighbours who are a short journey away from the European Union, are treated with respect. This for selfish as well as selfless reasons. Thank you very much indeed. Bene, grazie, onorevole Thank you, Mr. Mitchell. Our next speaker is Mrs. Benova for two minutes. 